Boyd from Wicked Sam Kane I Ranch in beautiful Marshall, North Carolina. Today I present to you the incredibly talented Scooby. And Scooby is a one year old male who lives here in his back um, that I have been blessed with the opportunity to work with. So when we got him, uh, he would pull on the lead a little bit and jump on some folks. Like all other rescue dogs, he has a previous history, but we're not going to focus much on it. Right now, what we've determined is, is that we've got uh, a very well domesticated guy that just really likes to have a lot of attention in and around humans. We're gonna seek out one that's very proactive with their energy with the dog. And uh, one of the things I wanna do is just kinda of show you some of the things that he's acquired while he's here at the ranch. So uh, we will play and retreat, which is started with a roller toss. And lots and lots of praise. And then I'm gonna present the second object. It's gonna bring it right to my side and I'm gonna touch him up and I'm gonna take my time because I realize it's a deep chested dog that will get really hot really quick. But after we'll do a roller toss, then we can start to present on the top side and he will catch Frisbee once we get in into a good rhythm. Good boy! Please, Kirby! I'm gonna present my second object and I'm just gonna hang out on my training bucket. Good boy. So while we're here, we're gonna touch him up and we wanna make sure we do everything we do, we do three times. We gotta basically take the object from him. We're gonna make one more retrieval pass. I'm gonna tell him to drop a little bit right up under him. Good. And then I'm gonna present forward and way up in the air. Woo wee! You'll be a champion before you know it. So as a Rhodesian, uh, we might know that these guys are 50-50 on a retrieval and play. Now that we see that he's there, we feel like that we've got a young enough dog to be pliable or do whatever we want. Except for idle tricks of our play objects. Thank you, sir. We're going to move on to obedience in about 10 seconds. Let me set up for you and I'll show you all the cool stuff we do. All right. Hold it. We'll get there. Ah, good boy. I said, good boy. Woo-wee. Touch it. One time. Two times. Yeah, out, boy. That's my guy. What about your other guy? Are you still mad at him? Who are you mad at him? Huh? Who is y'all didn't read together? Y'all didn't read today? Good. He had the day off. He had the day off. He still came to see me. He still came to see me. Don't be that way. Go over here. With you. <laughs> now I got you. Good boy. That's a my good boy. May I? May I? That smells good. Oh, that smells good too. You're a pretty boy, man. Hey, <laughs> good. 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 That's a good boy. Watch this. He can't stand it. <laughs> Somebody made him a lap pup before. We're going to discourage it. Oh, but watch him. There he is, yeah, that's a boy. Oh yeah. Right that's the way I want it. When we first started, it was cost a lap. And he's about 65, 70 if he's a pound. But you know you get out of you that Alright. Hey, good luck man. You made yourself look really wonderful. Yes, you did. Let me smell these. Ooh, these are good these are good. I think he's pretty comfortable in his own skin there. Yeah, I should have mentioned he was 10 pounds underweight and he needed good feedings and that might uh, spurn some heartstrings to call for now. <laughs> you know what I mean? He does, he needs 10 pounds put on him. But it's going to be accomplished through uh, the way that we're going, slow and steady, exercise and diet. So it's muscle in the front carriage. 
but as far as temperament and such, he's uh he's embraced he's embraced uh, Rant's life and having uh, people try to teach him and domesticate him. He's just bought into the whole process of you know if I do this, then what happens if I do this? And then he just falls right in line after the learning moment. He's pretty much ready just to ride off in the truck. He's been trying to talk me into that. But my life doesn't dictate that we can do that yet. Look at you, you're trying to win me over. You're trying to win me over. I'm gonna say a couple before you. So non-domesticated would be kicking like crazy if they felt like they were being dominated. Go across the withers with mass like that. Try that at home with your dog. It might kick your hat off. Good. <laughs> I think you got to go. Let's we'll see if you can do that. Good dog. Come on, bro. Let's go. Come on, let's get you a snack. All righty. Hold you. A little light clap with the word hold you, okay? that for just basically an eddy situation where he gets touched. What I want us to be cognizant of upon placement is when we're calling toward withhold you. Oy. What I want is to make sure that this dog is not leaning on his foster or permanent home uh, situation on his primary handler. He cannot put his butt and shoulders on them. Good. In the training capacity we have um, a serious problem that we need to rectify. Okay, it's going to be handler errors on top of handler errors. So again, first thing is to separate the body from the touch so the dog doesn't feel like he's dominated. Then the second thing we're going to do is we're going to show dichotomy in teaching a couple signals of when the dog is with the handler. All right, you can be with the handler. Yo, you can be with us. Let's talk, buddy. Let's talk. Did you have a good day? Oh, that's wonderful. What a good boy. I missed you so much all day. I did. Again, he's not leaning. And then I have to create an environment. Good boy. Where we do a skill set acquisition. Good boy. Teach him a couple different signals. Good to get him in posture. Good job. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give him a signal for stay as he chews. I'm going to get into position and tell him no if he falls. Good boy. And again, what I'm looking to do with this dog is I want to teach him that there are times when he's with me and I'm petting him, and there are times when I'm going to put him in his quote unquote place, and then I'm going to be seated and he's to remain. I'm going to give a backside signal. No. I'm going to ask the camera to slide to the left about oh, four steps. Good. Sit. Good boy. He'll train through. It's just about all. Oh, Eight days in, good boy. I'm gonna give a signal here. Not gonna reward because he's been breaking. Gonna impede, happy, happy. Sit, good boy. We'll give the signal one last time. I know, right? Gonna physically put him in posture by bumping him. Good, just to show him that we can. He's gonna be patient, we're gonna finish this. I'm gonna give a signal. Nobody's looking at you. I'm gonna be seated, and then I'm gonna give him a backside signal again. So. Basically, we got to go run through that struggle of are you going to stay, are you not going to stay. We're going to have good practice habits and always return to the dog. And then we are going to enunciate the release so he knows when to get up. Woo. Good boy. So, let us rinse and repeat. And just like number three, we're going to knock this out, do a quick repetition. Our measurement from the scientific point of view is how fast do, can we elicit the reply. Good. Off of a set sequence. Ready? Let's go. Good boy. We're gonna go recognition. Big signal. Good. I see. I see. Good. Going to induce so as to facilitate. Good. And then we're going compulsion at that point. I'm watching the guy. Just cross the word sounds bad. It's not. Literally, compulsion means that I'm going to impede his progress one way or another on that shoulder if he gets up and doesn't do what I ask, which is to remain there. And we've learned that through trial and error. And then my butt goes to the ground. And then I correct. No worries. It takes three to learn it. Good boy. And we're going to here. 
He may just be saying, Mr. Greg, I'd rather be hanging out with you right now. My induce for Tom. Good, you ready? No, pop him on kisses. Good. And then I'm gonna separate. This will be the third time, should be the charm. Here, signal. No. You got a happy smile? Good. And there. Good. And then there. And then there. One, two, three. And again, don't get pissed, people. The dog gets up because he's trying to figure out what he's supposed to do. Stay clear and concise, work in three set uh, repetition patterns, and then enjoy your dog. Good boy. Good job. I noticed that he got up with his butt in the air. That tells me he's ready to play. <laughs> All right, Scooby Butt, let's go. All right, so we have Scooby, we're assembled. We have a cookie, evolution collar. First objective is to get him uh, moving forward with the target sound. We're gonna turn 90 degrees. We're gonna turn 90 degrees again. Good boy. I'm gonna continue to move no matter what happens. Using my fancy footwork. That way he will know good to stay with me and build pack membership. Oh, hey, you slip. Let's go. We'll acquire pack membership here. Good boy. We do this inside, three laps per day. We're gonna rotate behind his eyeballs. He'll put his butt on the ground, and then we're gonna love him up and give him his cookie. You see his paw flop, that's submissive behavior. Through these exercises, he stays in that state, and we progress him through our lessons. Let's go to number two. Good boy. All right, my brother. On lesson two, very simply, I have to move you forward, and then I'm gonna turn in front of you in the home. Good boy. And then I'm going to turn in front of you 90 degrees. At some point, the dog's big old body's going to bounce off of him. And he's going to check and basically make sure you're level platform as you move forward. This is going to rank order our pack and create a situation. Good, 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 good. Where he takes our direction. Good boy, let's go. After two laps with 90 degree turns, continuing to move at all times. We're going to stop here in and near our kitchen island and we'll rotate and we're gonna reward. And this very simple ebb and flow is gonna frame in exactly what I need on geometry to teach the dog the recall, which is lesson three. Off here. Y'all ready? Good boy, you ready? Oh, you're showing out. Let me have your big paw. Let me have your big paw. Are you ready? You sit. Oh, good boy, you stay. So we've assembled. We've got a couple helpers. They're training professionals, Mr. Reese and Mr. Bryce. We've got Scooby, again we're tethered, we've got a couple cookies. Very simply, I'm going to send him toward the helper, good, or the person that he's meeting, greeting, with Q, friend. At that point, the friend's going to give him a cookie, going to give him a little bit of touch. Well, na uh, naturally, it'll make our bodies fold over the dog, good, good, good. And it gives us an opportunity to program in some positive things that this dog needs in his life, and to set him forward, good look at him talk, good dog. Mm -hmm and to set him up with the proper teachings of the recall. So here we go. Scooby, leave it. Heel, even though he's fixated, heel. Oh, wow. We get him to stepping. He knows a one piece. Good boy. And then we get a sit signal in the finished position right beside us. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fast forward through two more repetitions. Good boy. And we're gonna see the amount of time elapsed from when we call him to where he gets back. It's going to decrease. It's going to get better and better. Are you ready? Friend? Gentlemen, will you try to get my puppy to jump, which was his fault when we met him? Simple tap tap at this point. It's challenging the dog in his mind to make the physical mistake. He answers with the under indirect sit. Good boy. And then I'm going to call him back. Scooby, leave it. Heel. We should see a one piece. Good boy. Oh my goodness. He should keep stepping until he gets to the finish. We're going to rotate. Good dog, we're going to reward, and we're going to send him one more time. Each time, uh, we should see a pre uh, basically a correction in his posture to where he starts to look back toward me. He's going to be perpendicular to the person he greets. Friend, ooh, he's out quick. Light fall, good. Nothing serious, doesn't jump though. See his body, that's what I'm talking about on the third repetition. And Scooby, leave it, heel. Good. Oh yeah, I saw you looking at your helpers. Good boy. Looking for the reward. He's going to condition behavior. Good. To the finish right beside us. 
All right, give us five seconds to set up. We're gonna do our final skill set. Good dog. Good, I see, I see, good. Going to induce, so as to facilitate. Good. And then we're going compulsion at that point. I'm watching the guy, just cause the word sounds bad, it's not, literally. Compulsion means that I'm gonna impede his progress one way or another on that shoulder if he gets up and doesn't do what I ask, which is to remain there. And we've learned that through trial and error. And then my butt goes to the ground. And then I correct. No worries, it takes three to learn it. Good boy. And we're gonna hear. He may just be saying, Mr. Greg, I'd rather be hanging out with you right now. I'm gonna induce for time. Good, you ready? I'm gonna pump him on kisses. Good. And then I'm gonna separate. This will be the third time, should be the charm. Here, signal. No. Got a happy smile, good. And there, good. And then there, and then there. One, two, three. And again, don't get pissed, people. The dog gets up because he's trying to figure out what he's supposed to do. Stay clear and concise, work in three set uh, repetition patterns, and then enjoy your dog. Good boy. Good job. I noticed that he got up with his butt in the air. That tells me he's ready to play. <laughs> All right, Scooby Butt, let's go.